Hi, I'm Glenn Chown. I'm the Executive Director of the Grand Traverse Regional Land Conservancy. I'm really excited to be at the Mount Mini Project on the shores of Little Platte Lake on an isthmus located between Big Platte Lake and Little Platte Lake. Mount Mini is an incredible area. It's a little less than 66 acres with 1,500 feet of undeveloped waterfront on Little Platte Lake. It's a spectacular forest, lots of old growth trees, oaks, pines, hemlocks, hardwoods, and very important to protecting water quality for the Platte Lake watershed. I'm John Collins, Chairman of the Board of the Land, Grand Traverse Regional Land Conservancy, and uh, I'm out here this morning at Mount Mini wearing two hats. The, uh, the hat of the Chairman of the Board, and so we're so excited about this project. It's a wonderful property, and we're going to protect it forever. I'm very, very excited about that. But I'm also wearing a hat as a resident. I've got a house on Platte Lake just down the street, and have driven past and been seen Mount Mini many, many times over the years. And so we're excited for what this is going to do to preserve and protect this wonderful property in my neighborhood, where my home is. Hi, I'm Chris Sullivan. I'm the Director of Land Protection for the Grand Travers Regional Land Conservancy. And I'm out here today at the proposed Mount Mini Nature Preserve. It's a really uh, spectacular uh, glacial landscape here. The, the property raises or rises up, uh, you know, about 140 feet above uh, Little Platte Lake, and it occupies this thin strip of land between Big Platte and Little Platte. So the, the topography is particularly striking from, uh, from both lakes. Um, and that provides a lot of opportunity uh, from a recreational standpoint. There's uh, tremendous views of uh, both Little Platte and Big Platte lakes, especially uh, when the leaves are, are down. Um, but also opportunity for some really uh, spectacular hiking trails um, utilizing this topography and uh, taking in the scenic views and getting down to the water's edge uh, and just uh, it makes the, the property feel bigger uh, bigger than its 66 acres. From a habitat standpoint also a very important property um, it, it's uh, has a, uh, although just a small bit, about six acres of riparian wetland along Little Platte Lake. Uh, we found a number of uh, relatively rare uh, wetland plants, uh, a lot of diversity down there. Um, and also ha habitat for things like red-shouldered hawk. Uh, we, we've seen bald eagles using the property, that shoreline for, for, for uh, hunting and, and uh, uh, for perching. Um, we were out here uh, a couple years ago when we were first starting to work uh, actively on the project. Uh, otters were uh, maintaining uh, holes in the ice uh, on the shore of this property. Forest type out here, uh, it, it's sort of a uh, dry music forest converting to music forest. So a lot of uh, really mature uh, red and white oak trees, red and white pine, um, but also mixed in with beech trees and. Uh, sugar maple and red maple and and um, and, and hemlock and, and again just a uh, really uh, beautiful place. You know, not only are, are we, uh, you know, do we view this property and it's it's quality from an ecological standpoint, but we know that uh, it's very attractive from a development uh, standpoint as well. It's in very close proximity to uh, Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lake Shore. Uh, it's the, you know, the, the water frontage is, um, there's, there's a lot of flat buildable area down along the water, but even, uh, you know, 10 or 12 homes down on the water and another, uh, you know, five or 10 houses up uh, on the ridges, uh, that could have a really significant input, um, nutrient input uh, into a lake like this. And Little Platte Lake is unique in that it's, it's a, a pretty large lake. It's um, in the neighborhood of 850 acres in size, but the maximum depth is, is uh, somewhere around 10 to 12 feet. 
Uh, the majority of the lake is, um, you know, five feet deep or less. And uh, because of that, um, the, the lake is very susceptible to uh, nutrient inputs The Conservancy has had our eyes on this property for nearly 18 years. It's been a priority, and we're excited by now the opportunity to protect it. But we're going to need all of the support we can muster from people who love the Platte Lake watershed area.